5,280 feet. Everyone knows that's Denver's elevation, and the Nuggets didn't pass up the chance to remind their opponents what altitude they were playing at when they stamped it on the sideline at the beginning of last season. Rightfully so. However, now two games under 500 at Pepsi Center throughout the past four seasons, you can't help but wonder if Denver's elevation is still dreaded by their opponents or if one of the best home court advantages in the league no longer gives the Nuggets the edge it once had. Hello there and welcome into the Denver Post Newsroom. I'm Alexis Perry with your DPTV Sports Minute. Warriors guard Sean Livingston cited Denver's elevation was the reason he was wishing the Nuggets would miss out on the final seed in the Western Conference playoffs. Denver's loss to OKC on Sunday, Livingston's wish was granted. However, given the Nuggets play down the stretch, it seems like the Nuggets are the ones gasping for oxygen, not their opponents. Head coach Michael Malone said the team lacked poise and execution, especially in the final minute of Sunday's game as they surrendered a seven-point lead and their postseason prayers. This season in clutch situations, the league's fourth best offensive squad ranked 25th with a rating just less than 99 and a half. Denver was only able to put up 14 points in the final frame against the Thunder, who had 25. In other words, OKC wasn't nearly as gassed as Denver was. The Nuggets are now 2-7 and seven this season in games decided by five points or less. Not great, but what do you think? Even with some statistical evidence, do you think Denver's home court advantage still exists? Or will it only remain if the Nuggets stop beating themselves late in the game? Take my poll that I am posting to Twitter right now. I'm eager to see what you think.